The 30 day minimalism challenge. I can't believe I have this many things. Look at all this stuff. But uh, we should probably rewind this back a little bit and uh, take it from step one. I've decided to do it. I'm gonna do the 30 day minimalism challenge. Now, this is what my office looks like straight after I've done a YouTube video, uh, a video shoot, photo shoot. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I just plop on the table. I charge a whole bunch of batteries. There are tripods everywhere, lighting, gimbals, drones. As, as content creators, you know, we guys know that, that we've got a whole bunch of stuff but there are things that need to just completely go and there are things that need to stay. This video is about what needs to go and what needs to stay. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, I'm gonna complete something very similar to the 30 day minimalism challenge. I'm gonna attack the studio Yes, like you saw in that intro, I'm gonna attack the studio and complete this a little bit differently with a twist. But first, for those who don't know what this is or where it came from, let's take it back a little. The minimalist Josh Fields Milburns and Ryan Nicodemus are the creators of the 30 Day Minimalist Challenge. They both began pursuing the minimalist lifestyle in 2010. After experiencing significant improvements in their quality of life, as a result of practicing, you know, the treats of minimalism, they launched a website in December 2010 to share their experiences. Since then, they have successfully written books, had multiple podcasts, YouTube videos, and had their own documentary in 2015 paired with Matt Diavella, which turned out very successful. On a similar note, the Los Angeles Times released an article saying that an average American household had over 300,000 items. You may not actually think that you've got much, but you'll be surprised how many items you actually have. You know, these items range from, you know, something as simple as a paper clip all the way through to your 65 inch flat screen TV. Essentially, the minimalist version of decluttering is that you get rid of one item on the first day, two items on the second day, three items on the third day, so on and so forth, until you get all the way up to 30 days and you have to remove 30 items. This is a total of 465 items. Now this is a great technique to really organize your stuff and slowly remove all the unused or unwanted items in your house. Although personally, I believe one item on one day is just a little slow. Just, I am going to do this a little bit differently and do things a little bit quicker. Now you can do it the 30 day challenge or you can do it my way, which is a little bit quicker, but it's up to you. This gives you less time into knowing what you wanna throw out and potentially it's just gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So what I'm gonna do is do this over seven days. So I'm going to throw out 71 items on one day and 72 items on every other day. So this is equivalent to 500 items. I don't even know if I have 500 items, but see how we go with this. This is gonna be really fun. I'm pretty excited to actually do it and just clear out the studio and make a big change. You know, this is going to really declutter the studio and just make it less stressful for after I actually do my shoots. So 500 items may actually seem like a lot, but 500 items is only 0.16% of the average American household. So that's not actually that much. So the first thing I need to do is establish what I have and what I potentially will or won't need. So what I've done is I've broken this down into five categories for myself. Things that I regularly use, things that I use a few times, things that I may use for specific jobs in the future, things that hold sentimental value, and things that just catch dust, never get used, and are just a waste of physical space. 
Now it's that fifth category, the, the items that I really need to get rid of first. I'm hoping that every item is actually from this category, but 500 items that I've never ever used as just catching dust, this is gonna prove a little bit difficult, but I'm ready for the challenge, so this should be interesting. But the main thing I want to tell you guys is that don't just toss it out into the bin. That's just a whole bunch of actual waste. What you wanna try and do is establish, you know, what you're actually going to toss, but you can donate, you can give away, you can sell, and then lastly, potentially you might have to toss it if just you can't get rid of it or there's no absolute use for it. So it's day one, I've got 71 items to get rid of. The room is in a complete mess, but I'm pretty excited to start this. Let's get into it. So I decided to tackle this cupboard which has a whole bunch of drawers and a whole bunch of boxes inside of it. A lot of these are just boxes, so I will sort through this. There's probably not many items that would actually sort of donate or give away or even sell, because like I said, they're just all empty boxes from companies that I've you know, received uh, products from, done a review on, and just kept the box there. Now, one tip with lens boxes, I tend to keep, because if I do want to sell the lens, I do have the box there. A lot of people tend to like the boxes with the lenses, so, potentially store them. Personally, in my own opinion, keep the lens boxes for resale value for later on. Anyway, that's day one, 71 items out of the way. Let's uh, sort through this and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it looks like day two's got a whole bunch of random stuff that I never use. Looks like I'm gonna have to give some of this away or even just toss it. Now day three, this one seems a little easy because I've got a whole bunch of GoPro attachments that you know almost add up to 40 to 50 pieces as is. So that's almost my whole day right there. This one seems pretty easy. Well, that's it. Let's, uh, let's move on to day four. Now day four, looks like I've got more Osmo Pocket and GoPro attachments. This I'll probably give away to a few friends and maybe even some fans. Uh, we've got three days to go and I've done a third of the room, so there's still a lot to go. I'll see you tomorrow, day five. Let's get it. So I've got a whole bunch of cords that I already use that are out of this box, and this is all the cords that I do not use. And day six, this is a whole bunch of photography accessories that I used to do some baby photography stuff. And look, I found an iPhone 5. Is that an iPhone 5? My God, that's a blast from the past. And lastly, a whole bunch of stuff. We've got a Pelican case and I have to get rid of my iMac and I've got a TV that's in this room, so. Now that is 500 items I removed in that room in seven days. If you're up for this challenge, just get it done, get in there. Let me know how you went. So comment below if you went well, comment below if you are thinking about doing the standard 30 day challenge in obviously 30 days. It's 465 items, so it's a little bit less, but definitely do it, I recommend it. This is incredible. It just makes you sort of appreciate what you have and just, the main thing I want you to get out of this video is just to remove that unwanted items that catch dust and it's just doing nothing. So just donate it, give it away, sell it. You could even make some money from the items that you don't use. Or last case scenario, give it a toss, throw it away. You won't be using it, it's just catching dust. It's not adding anything to your life, no value whatsoever. So anyway, 
Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, hit that like button. That would be absolutely amazing. I do have a Patreon account, which just started. So if you do want to pledge and be one of my Patreons, it does help out my channel, helps me create more quality content for you guys more frequently. Because like I said, this is very difficult creating this kind of content, especially with you know having a bub, full-time uni work, my own physical uh, exercise and stuff. It's all time consuming. You guys know how it is when you're content creators. But anyway, other than that guys, my name's Jason Morris. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it.